Hi everyone. Today we will discuss the exercises of chapter 4. Plants around us of class 4 science. Let us start with question A. Fill in the blanks of something to know. 1. Plants growing on hills are tall, straight and have a conical shape. 2. Banyan and mango are two of the trees that grow on plains. 3. Breathing roots are also called aerial roots. 4. Hydrilla is an underwater plant. 5. Lotus stem is eaten as a vegetable. Question B. Match the following. 1. Evergreen trees. Rubber and teak are evergreen trees. 2. Needle-like leaves. Pine and cedar have needle-like leaves. 3. No leaves. A cactus has no leaves. It has spines instead of leaves. 4. Breathing roots. Mangroves have breathing roots. 5. Air-filled cavities. Aquatic plants have air-filled cavities. 6. A cultivated crop. Rice is a cultivated crop. Question C. Take the correct option. 1. It is a free-floating plant. Option A. Water hyacinth. Option B. Hydrilla. Option C. Coconut. Option D. Lotus. Here, option A is correct. Water hyacinth is a free-floating plant. 2. These are unwanted plants. Option A, cactus. Option B, grass. Option C, mangroves. Option D, weeds. Here, option D is correct. Weeds are the unwanted plants. 3. It can survive in soil. With very little water. Option A. Banyan. Option B. Teak. Option C. Rubber. Option D. Cactus. Option D. Cactus. A cactus can survive in soil with very little water. Question D. Answer the following questions in brief. 1. What are terrestrial plants? Plants which grow on land are called terrestrial plants. 2. How does the conical shape help the plants of heels? The conical shape of plants of heels does not allow snow to get deposited on them. 3. Name two trees growing in hot and wet regions. Two trees growing in hot and wet regions are teak and rubber. 4. Name an underwater plant. What kind of leaves does it have? Hydrilla is an underwater plant. It has pointed and strap-like leaves. 5. What is ploughing? Ploughing is a method of digging and loosening soil to make it soft before sowing. It is done using a plough, an iron structure or a tractor. Question E. Answer the following questions. 1. List the different habitats of terrestrial plants. Different habitats of terrestrial plants are hills, plains, hot and wet regions, desert and marshy areas. 2. How is cactus plant able to grow in desert conditions? Cactus is able to grow in desert conditions because it has well developed long roots that go deep inside the soil for absorbing water. It has green and fleshy stem which stores water. It has spines instead of leaves which prevent water loss through transpiration. 
3. What are aquatic plants? State their types and give two examples of each type. Plants which grow in water are called aquatic plants. They are of two types, floating aquatic plants and underwater plants. Floating aquatic plants are of two types, free floating plants and fixed aquatic plants. Two examples of free floating plants are water lettuce and duckweed. And two examples of fixed aquatic plants are lotus and water lily. Two examples of underwater plants are hydrilla and tape grass. 4. What are cultivated plants? Plants which are grown by the farmers on a large scale are called cultivated plants. Some of the examples of cultivated plants are rice, maize, wheat, sugarcane, etc. 5. Why should weeds be removed from the fields? Weeds are unwanted plants which consume water and fertilizers meant for the main crop and harm their growth. So, they should be removed. Thank you.